much love, compassion, celebration, and just being in a room full of people that are proud to be Pinoy. I know I didn't bring home the fifth crown, but I I just hope that I made all of you proud, and I felt that. Yes, definitely did. With that said, and you hear everybody here in the room, are you aware of how much influence you have on people all around the world? I've always been a queen that says you have to lead by example. You really have to walk the talk. Thank you so much. And you just have to know that everything that you do has an impact on everyone. Anything that you say, that's why I always preach about having love, respect, and kindness. I didn't come here to try and get the most followers, but I try to positively impact everyone around me by telling your stories, by calling myself a proud Pinay, and also just screaming and wearing the Philippines across my heart. So again, I am saying a lot of thank yous tonight, but once more, maraming maraming salamat. Well, we know there are so many aspiring queens looking up to you. So for every aspiring queen out there, what advice do you have for them? Hard work, dedication, passion, and most importantly, love for your country. I know that this has been a very long and tedious journey, but it will be all well worth it as long as you put your training, you trust your training, you trust your core group, and on this very stage, on this very night, destiny will have your back. So, thank you. Amen, sister, amen. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you have really gained the fans of all Filipinos. When you came back from El Salvador, I know I saw on social media the celebration from everyone in the country. So, job well done. Thank you, thank you so much. Is there any lessons that really stick out to you or maybe an aha moment that you had during your reign? <sighs> Again, just too many. But it is really the importance of that hard work. Not met very many men, many of you know that I was actually hospitalized and I went through emergency surgery when I was competing for the national crown. And it's because I had that determination to really believe in my cause that I was able to come back to work the next day because I knew that I wanted to make all of you proud. But it's such a huge responsibility to wear a crown over your head. And it's, it's just important to remember that you always have to be inspirational, aspirational, because there are not just one country, but the whole universe will be looking at you. Absolutely. Now, that in a few moments, you're going to be passing that exact crown to another queen. So what is next for Michelle D? What exciting plans are in the works for you? I have always been a very proud, multifaceted queen. I love the arts, I love being creative. I'm actually a very, very heavy creative and tech nerd, but just trust that you will see more of me. Of course, as a queen, I think, and actually I believe, that one of the best testaments of that is what you do after your reign. Can you continue your advocacy work? Can you continue to walk the talk? And for me, that's what I will continue to do. And you can trust that I will take all of you along with that journey as well. Oh, Michelle, I know this is not the last that we will see of you. Your future is bright. Okay, one more question before you go. Who has been your biggest supporter through all of this? Of course, I have to say thank you to my family. They really taught me how to perceive life. I have my friends here, my best friends, my mentors. But I really have to say thank you to all of you, my, my supporters, my fellow Filipinos. It was because on the first time that I was on a pageant stage, it was the supporters that made me truly ask, why can't I see the potential that I have in myself? So I have to say thank you to the thousands of men and women that really just inspired me to be here on this stage today. Give it up for the queen. And the queen to queen session we were able to have right here, ladies. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Michelle G. Now we're still gonna see you later as we await your finale to queen, to crown the next queen. Are you ready? I'm always ready, Woo! but of course, I'm always grateful as well. As I say, I have a hashtag, D 
di pa tapos pero hindi matatapos love it moa arena there you have it gracing us with her presence and sharing the sparkle with us today looking amazing in your gown the reigning miss universe philippines michelle d thank you so much for joining us thank you everyone